eats the Carolina Reaper. Watching so many movies, he turns into the Jeeper. Yeah. Monster kid from the start. From the start. Bucky ain't got brains, but he got heart. But he got heart. Bucky, are you packed? I'm packed. Uh, hey, but look, the patients are here. Hi, patients. Hi, patients. Hey, by the time you're watching this on the monster, the monster channel, uh, it'll be I'm July. So it'll be July 28th. But yes. We're leaving to go on vacation. Uh, Wait. Today, and we'll be back next week. Yes. yes after this airs. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so uh, we will. We will. Hey, <laughs> summer's coming to a close. And we're going to Delaware. We, we are. We're not going to the island. No, yeah. we're not. We're not going to Forbidden Island. No way. Okay. No way. Okay. Even though you keep getting all those cards and emails and all stuff, right. want you to come back. Over with, so hey, I can precious, go, do you know what today is? I can go pack. You know what today is? Uh, it's uh, Friday. It's Friday. Friday. It's almost midnight. It's almost Saturday. It's a special day. Oh, it's a special day? It is. What it's special? Dark. What special day is it? It's National Chocolate Day. National Chocolate Milk Chocolate Day. Yes. National Milk Chocolate Day. I love chocolate. It's Milk like chocolate, you know, dark chocolate, white chocolate. I it's picky. I love chocolate. Chocolate's good. Um, okay. This is Dredge drizzled me some pretzels and milk chocolate. Oh, nice. Uh, go back. Uh, check on the camera. I will. I will. We get this. Uh, we have a two for today. Well, here, joke. Well, here, joke, patience. Oh, if, if, if you must, go ahead. Okay. What did the dragon? Dragon say to the knight. Yes. Uh, are you ready? Are you ready for this stuff? I'm ready. Are you ready, patience? <laughs> he said, Drag can't food again. <laughs> Drats can't food again. Wasn't that funny? Oh my goodness. Can't food again. <laughs> hey, uh, patience. Hey. Hey, Doc. Hey, Professor. Christopher's out there. Late for dinner. What do you get? What do you get, Doc? Leftovers. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Do you know, patients? I don't know. You know, Doc? Does anyone know? Do you know? Do you know? I don't know. You ready? Are you ready for this? You ready, patients? Are you ready? He got the cold shoulder. Oh, ah, he, he was late for dinner and he got the cold shoulder. Gus, rim shot.
Focus! Focus, focus! Step, stepfather 2, make room for Daddy. It picks up exactly where the stepfather left off. The first one, the original, yes! Okay, uh, some spoilers. If you haven't seen the first one, don't watch this review. Watch the first one first. Watch the first movie first, The Stepfather, and then watch this review afterwards. We're going to try not to make too many spoilers for Stepfather 2, Make Room for Daddy, or Stepfather 3. Okay, here we go. Uh, Stepfather 2, Make Room for Daddy, picks up exactly where Stepfather 1 left off. Uh, if you remember, Stepfather, there's a climatic battle scene. Jerry Blake, played by... Terry O'Quinn yes. is crawling up the stairs. His stepdaughter, Samantha, is at the top of the stairs. She has a, uh, Butcher knife. a Michael knife. Myers sized uh, stab him tool. This is dread. Don't have any tools no, like that. She, well, we don't like to keep that stuff in the house. Okay. Oh, you're not allowed to have it. Shh. I didn't want to say that. Okay. Go ahead, Doc. Go ahead. Uh, she has a big stab him tool, and Jerry gets to the top of the stairs, and she stabs him. She does really uh, hard. He falls down oh. the stairs. Very good. I mean, you know, just like boom, 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 boom. Yes. Uh, he's at the bottom of the stairs up against the rail and got a big old knife sticking out of his chest. He looks dead. Okay. Let's, uh, Stepfather 2. Fast forward. So fast forward to Stepfather 2. Uh, they pick up, he's at the bottom of the steps, you think he's dead, he wakes up gasping for air, he's in a mental institute. Oh, that was a nightmare sequence, by the way, he wakes up gasping for air, nightmare sequence. Uh, he has an appointment with his new doctor. Who's a, who's a therapist. His therapist. Yes. Uh, I'm assuming he was like a psychiatrist. Yes. But anyhow, uh, you know, how was your childhood? Uh, you had a puppy as a kid. Uh, let's talk about your parents, sort of stuff. And yeah, there's a guard outside there the is a locked guard. door. Well, before the guard goes outside, the new doctor says, uh, we got to establish some trust here between me and Jerry. Whose name is now Jade. Well, I don't think he becomes Gene. Oh, so that's, okay, that's true. That's I, true. Yes, you're right. Okay, so they take the handcuffs off of Jerry. The guard sits outside. Bad things happen. Very bad. Very things. bad things. And Jerry makes his escape. He sure does. Uh, not long after he escapes, he assumes the name of... Somebody he killed. Gene Clifford. He took his buddy in his car. And all of a sudden, he has the credentials to become a marriage counselor. He does. <laughs> I, I can't make this stuff up. Yeah. <laughs> but they did make this stuff up. Uh, he assumes a new identity, he's a marriage counselor, uh, he meets... Carol Graylin. Carol Graylin. Who is his real She is recently divorced, sort of abandoned by her husband. Yes. She has a son named, uh, Todd. Todd, yes. She's that's son, that's Todd. Jonathan Brandis. Played by Jonathan Brandis. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, you may recognize Jonathan Brandis from The NeverEnding Story. Mm. Uh, he, Sorry. The NeverEnding Story. The mother, who was, uh, what's her name again? Meg Foster, who plays Carol Braylon. <laughs> yeah, I knew she was made. Carolyn. Car Carolyn? Carol. She plays Carol. Okay. Meg Foster plays Carol, uh, the new love interest. Of uh, Jean. Who of was Jean, Jerry. who was Jerry. Yes. Okay. Meg Foster, you will recognize because she has those really intense eyes. Yes, they're very light. They're beautiful. And uh, she she was in the movie They Live. They Live. I'm here to chew bubblegum and kick butt. Remember They Live? Yeah. Yes. Excellent film. Okay. What do you got to do first? I'm all out of bubblegum. <laughs> okay, uh, we're, we're talking about Stepfather too. 
Okay, she's the new love interest. She lives across the street from she's him. She's his neighbor. And she's at his therapy that he has. She is in the ther group therapy. That he has at his house. Uh, along with the male lady and the old lady who okay. likes the hub show tubes. Fucky. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're off the rails. Okay. <laughs> we we got we to gotta sort of wrap this up because we got a twofer. Okay. Uh, in, in The Stepfather 2, look also for Caroline Williams. Yes. Yes. Uh, you may not recognize her immediately because she looks different. But she was in the movie Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, and she played Stretch, the DJ. Yes. Yes, okay. Uh, Bucky, would you, how would she, you rate Stepfather? She plays Maddie. And they don't actually get married. They're all set to get married, but they don't actually get married. That's right. That's right. Oh, and you know when things go wrong? Yes. Yes. Jerry's all set to get married to her. He's all buddy-buddy with Todd. And uh, things are going really well. And then the real dad comes the back home. The first husband. First husband. He's back in the picture. He is. He and is. And he's, he's taken his son out to do fun things and whatnot. Yeah, play and, ball and stuff. And uh, Gene does not, I mean, this is wrong. Jeans like that's it for him. Wires crossed. That's it. Bad things happen on the wedding day. Okay, I'm not saying and anything. Before else. the wedding day, they happen. Okay, yeah, that's right. Uh, Bucky. Yes, doctor. How would you? <laughs> how would you rate Stepfather Two? Make room for Daddy. I'd give it a three skulls. I think Three Skulls is fair. Terry O'Quinn carries the movie. He does a great job. Uh, Meg Foster is solid, and uh, Jonathan does a good job as a ch uh, stepchild. He does, he does. And he's not all bratty like that stepchild in the first movie. No, not at all. Oh, no, she was... She he was, actually kind of likes Gene. Yeah, he kind of likes Gene. Yeah. Okay. Let's, he even learned to hum his tune. Stepfather 3, I'm not even quite sure of the year. Do I have it written down there? You do not. Okay. And it really doesn't matter. Uh, Terry O'Quinn declined to come back for the third movie in this series. Why? Why? He thinks he probably, they probably didn't offer him enough money is probably what it is. Or at Ter Terry O'Quinn does not come back for the third movie. Instead, uh, Whiteman, Whiteman, what's his name? His name is Robert. Robert Wait. Whiteman. Yes. Yes. Uh, and I didn't recognize him from anything. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Uh, so you can guess, since there's a third movie, Terry somehow survives. And his ter Terry O'Quinn somehow survives. Uh, so actually it would be Gene Clifford, Gene the Clifford character, survives. survives. And he's back. Uh, the movie opens up with uh, another escape. Uh, and this time, some real plastic surgery. Yes! Which looked a lot like the scene in Batman where the Joker's all wrapped up in bandages. Yes! Yes. And, uh, of course, things don't go too well for the plastic surgeon. Nope. No. Not at all. No. Fatality. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, in this movie, you look for. But you will recognize his love interest. Yes! Yes. Uh, the Chris, step Chris Teed. The stepfather's love interest is Christine, yes. and she has uh, like a teenage son in a wheelchair. Andy. Andy. And Christine is played by Priscilla Barnes. Yes. Remember last week when I said somebody was a subpar Farrah replacement? And it was Kate Jackson. I knew it, it, it wasn't, wasn't Farrah. She, wasn't, she didn't actually replace Farrah. She replaced Kate Jackson. Uh, well, Priscilla Barnes is known as the... Replacement for Three's Company. Yes. She plays uh, Suzanne Summers. Yes. Yes. Uh, this movie just isn't quite as good. Uh, the only thing that makes kind of sense is that the stepfather in this movie is working as a gardener. He doesn't have any kind of credentials. He works in a greenhouse, uh, taking care of plants. And uh, everybody he comes in contact with just sort of Bad things happen to them. Also, uh, 
in this. He also goes off of off of his stepfather rules a little bit and stuff. In this. Yes, he doesn't follow the same M.O. That he should. Be. That that made sense in the first two films. And, and he makes a he, couple he, other calls. That yeah, he, he starts do. getting interested in a different woman after he's already established a relationship with Christine. Yes. Yes. And there are relationships. There is. There is. Okay. Uh, Bucky, you want to rate this one? Well, I really like the beginning of it. I really like the beginning with the plastic surgery and, and all those ideas and stuff. But then it started to, to fall apart a bit. But, oh, yeah. uh, Priscilla Barnes is in it, and it is the stepfather. So I give it 2.5. Bucky gives it 2.5. I give it a mere 2. Uh, you know, Bucky, 2.5 is, you know, out of four skulls. It wasn't bad. It, it wasn't bad. Uh, but it I'm was a still bit, a stepfather movie, and I enjoyed it. A little bit less than Bucky. I give it two skulls out of four. So I'm only giving it two skulls. It was meh, mediocre for me. I mean, will I watch it again? Maybe. But if I don't watch it again, it's not, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. So, your friend, Dr. Dredd, you know, I am recommending The Stepfather 2 to follow up with The Stepfather. Stepfather 3, eh, watch it, take it, leave it, do what you want to with it. On a serious note, which is something we don't do too often down here, uh, Jonathan Brandis, the star of The NeverEnding Story and Stepfather 2, Make Room for Daddy, uh, he suffered from depression and probably some other uh, mental issues, maybe manic depressant. And uh, unfortunately, he took his own life at the age of 27. And uh, I just want to let all the patients know that there is help out there. If you're feeling depressed, if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're having negative thoughts, talk to somebody, okay? Uh, there's always a national hotline. You're never alone. You are not alone. We care about you. We do. We do. So, until next week, remember my friends, as always, keep it scary. Keep it scary. Keep it scary. Bucky? Yes, doctor. Don't forget to pack the sunscreen. I won't this time. Okay. Morty's outside. I heard the car beep. Uh, we're ready? We're ready. Are we there yet? Cut the film. Cut that film. Cut that film. Cut it. Cut it. Me and Morty need flip-flops this year. Can we stop and get some flip-flops? Dollar Tree.